Sandra, we are talking about above average temperatures. And if you're heading to the beach, that's good news for you. Look at this shot of Santa Monica. We do have a small stream flood advisory in effect until 3:30 for the Coachella Valley, also the Riverside Mountains. So really great video coming in from Big Bear, just kind of showing the type of instability they're getting up in the mountains. It's certainly coming down out here and it's really just started to get heavy in the past few hours and sharing the winds just starting to pick up here in Long Beach. And as you can see through the berm here on the other side, the ocean, the surf also starting to pick up the central plains, the Ohio Valley getting severe weather. There was a tornado warning this afternoon in Indianapolis. That southern energy that is going to continue to bring up uh, dangerous waves up onto the shoreline for today. And that's because we're still dealing with the remnants of Tropical Storm Marie. Okay. Yours looks a lot nicer <laughs> than mine is. Okay. It's really fun, but it doesn't look pretty. But the Earth's axle tilt is actually closest to the sun. It is the highest sun position in the sky. So you have a heat advisory in effect for the Inland Empire, the Coachella Valley. It could actually bring us some of that drizzle as well. We're going to start to see some changes into tomorrow. In fact, we'll see more of an offshore breeze. Since Friday, the snow machines were able to make enough snow to open two lifts and four runs for the start of the season. I tell you, those kids that have summer jobs as lifeguards are probably loving it this weekend. Many ways to continue baseball if you're yes. not going to play it. So, mm -hmm. But today, you, you could play baseball today. Yeah, good day I mean, to be out. Yeah, there's a few scattered showers. You might have felt them this morning, but for the most part, we are going to stay dry today. In fact, we're going to see more sunshine today than we saw yesterday, but we're still kind of keeping that thunderstorm threat in the picture out there, especially when we're getting these breaks. You're kind of seeing that surface warming there that does create a little instability, so we're not ruling out the chance of some isolated thunderstorms. Here's a look at Blue Ridge right now, and yeah, you can see more in the way of blue skies. You can also see all that low cloud cover just kind of sitting in place as well as some high clouds as well. So we're not done with the cloud cover yet. We are still going to see uh, clouds here and there, overcast conditions and the slight chance of some pop up showers, but certainly not a washout by any means and certainly no need to change any outdoor plans. Looking at our radar right now, there is a bit of activity up through central California. In terms of our area, we are looking at some showery activity as you stretch from Santa Barbara all the way through places like Fraser Park. And we saw some pop up showers in Santa Clarita as well this morning. Also some showers along the coast, but very, very light in nature, more like sprinkles. And this is what we could continue to see uh, throughout the day. But again, mostly dry today. Right now, temperatures in the 60s, 67 degrees for Santa Monica and in Los Angeles, about 68 degrees for Long Beach into the afternoon, a very similar day temperature wise to what we saw yesterday. So our high will get up to about 79 degrees. That's still staying about five degrees below what we should typically see around this time of year. We do have a low pressure system kind of sitting off the Ventura coast, kind of pushing its way northward. So as it does so, less of a chance of showers as we go to the latter part of the day. But while we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday, Day. Our ridge of high pressure is going to expand westward as it does. So temperature is going to start to rebound again and we're going to go from below average temperatures to above average temperatures from your Wednesday through your Friday. We could also see the return of a little bit of monsoonal moisture pushing in, especially in through the high country. So your high temperatures today staying in the 80s through the Inland Empire, 87 degrees in Riverside, Moreno Valley, about 88 degrees along the coast. We'll keep it in the low 70s, 78 degrees in Anaheim today. We'll warm up to about 85 degrees in Northridge. So overall, not a bad day for you. We're kind of getting a little bit of mix of everything. So here's a look at your five day forecast. You can see cloudy today, cloudy tomorrow. We start to clear it up and warm up by midweek. Amy, it's going to be a beautiful afternoon to be out there at the beach, yeah. the parade, whatever you're doing. The Kings timed that out pretty nicely. Uh, they think. sure did. <laughs> and as far as I'm concerned, they can have as many parades as they want. We'll just keep on celebrating yeah, until the season starts. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be beautiful today. Lots of sunshine out there. Temperatures are actually going to start to warm up some as well. Here's a shot from Long Beach and pretty much anywhere you go along the coast this afternoon. It's going to be pretty pleasant out there clearing up after this morning. A little bit of fog. We had some low cloud cover that did stick around for a good portion of the morning, but now is the time where folks who are hitting uh, the ocean or the coastline actually going to really enjoy it out there. Temperatures are going to start to warm up just slightly from yesterday, and we're going to continue with a little warming trend as well. So we're actually starting to warm up nicely at this current hour, about 70 degrees in Long Beach right now, a few degrees warmer than that in downtown Los Angeles. As you head over to Pasadena, we're about 75 degrees, and we're breaking into the 80s right now into the Inland Empire, about 81 degrees for San Bernardino.
Bernardino. As we head into the afternoon, downtown Los Angeles will bring us about 77 degrees. That's about a few degrees cooler than the seasonal average, so we're getting much closer to where we should be around this time of year. Right now, not seeing as strong winds as we did yesterday, but we are still seeing a little bit of that onshore flow. You can see 14 mile an hour winds right now in Los Angeles and in Long Beach as well. We're going to see that change over the next couple of days, more of a weak offshore flow as we head into tomorrow and the end of your work week. So that low pressure system pushing off to the east, high pressure system really going to dominate our area. What that means is we're going to see much warmer temperatures as we head into the next couple of days and as we head into your Saturday, first day of summer and temperatures are going to agree with that. We will see above average temperatures as we head into your Saturday and your Sunday as well. High temperatures today expect them to get up into the 80s for the Inland Empire. 85 degrees in Riverside about 84 degrees for San Bernardino and Reno Valley about 86 degrees today in Huntington Beach will warm up to about 70 degrees 76 for Anaheim El Monte about 77 degrees and 84 degrees expected for Northridge. So here's your seven day forecast and you can see a Light warming trend as we head into the end of the week. Your Thursday and your Friday will bring us temperatures into the upper 70s. Uh, we will continue to see warming trend as we head into uh, Saturday and Sunday as well. In fact, for the not for the valleys, we're going to be breaking into the 90s as well. Sandra. All right, and Louisa, you and I can both relate to doing <laughs> weather type live shots. I have had nothing like that, though. That bad. Yeah, absolutely. That looks terrifying. <laughs> I have to say <laughs> definitely put your hair back for those type of wind shots. I just want to show you a couple things. This is a shot from Santa Monica. Beautiful beach day. Just look how jam packed it is. And for good reason, above average temperatures into the upper 70s, clear blue sky. Now take a look at the radar as you head up to the mountains. We're actually dealing with quite a bit of activity. In fact, there's a, a weather advisory in effect until about 415 this afternoon up in the San Bernardino Mountains just been hammered by some heavy downpours in some isolated areas. There's been some thunderstorms. Yucaipa has been one of the areas that actually has seen some hail. Uh, we are expecting hail one half inch in diameter. Watch all of this moisture. It's been kind of tracking to the north. This is subtropical moisture pu being pulled up to the north and now it's kind of pushing into some of the desert areas as well. So if you're driving on the way to Vegas or if you're heading up to big Bear. Those are some of the areas that are going to be affected this afternoon. We could continue to see some lingering showers into the evening as well. So some isolated thunderstorms, potential for some hail, some heavy downpours, and even the threat of flooding as well. Right now, temperatures in the upper 70s along the coastline. In the basin, we're in the 80s, and we are squeezing out some 90s in through uh, the Inland Empire. Your July 4th forecast looking beautiful. The sun is expected to set at about 8.08 this evening. Temperatures dipping down to about 72 degrees in Los Angeles. Mostly clear, pleasant conditions. What more could you ask for? We are seeing a high pressure system just kind of sitting over the Four Corners region. This is expanding and with that, it's actually kind of pulling up a lot of that subtropical moisture uh, into the area. But we are seeing warm, sunny conditions, but a lot of that subtropical moisture again is making for that threat for some thunderstorms right over the high the mountains and also the desert areas. So this chance of thunderstorm is going to continue right through the weekend as well. So just expect it into the afternoon, into the evening hours, not a washout by any means. Shouldn't cancel plans, but just be aware of it. And of course, just have somewhere to take cover if you can, because some of that hail coming down extremely hard. Here's a look at our high temperatures for tomorrow. Thousand Oaks about 84 degrees, about 79 degrees in Santa Monica, 85 degrees in downtown Los Angeles tomorrow. It's going to be a very similar day temperature wise to what we saw today. Temperatures at or above average about 84 degrees for Long Beach, Anaheim about 86 degrees and we're seeing some 90s once again in through the Inland Empire about 94 degrees in Ontario could squeeze out some triple digits in Palm Springs tomorrow about 94 degrees in Riverside. Here's your five day forecast. You can see the temperatures really not changing that much over the next couple of days, but we are on a kind of a cooling trend, especially by midweek. We'll start to notice those temperatures coming down. Again, the mountains seeing that threat for thunderstorms continue for today, for tomorrow. Same for the high desert, for the Inland Empire. Lots of sunshine expected 93 degrees expected for tomorrow. That's the same on Sunday, and then we start to cool it on down as we head to midweek.